All right, you guys, I don't know what the hell's going on here. It's snowing again. It's noon, like we're getting some good snow, but I told you guys all the snow from last night was gonna be gone by noon. Well, look, it's all gone. It's noon. Actually, it's one o'clock now, but it's all gone. Told you, but now it's snowing really good again. This is crazy. Got a couple hours of sleep. I feel really tired right now, but I'll be I'll be waking up a little bit. Oh man, 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 oh man, oh shit, man, oh man, oh shit. Just awesome. Yeah, seriously. At least I got one prediction right about like all that snow melting already. It was already gone an hour ago, as far as you know. <laughs> as I said, I just got up a little bit ago. I had to sleep in. <sighs> seriously tired. Very tired. And if you guys ever wonder, like, like because it feels like my upper lip's fat, but it's because I have these nicotine pouches. It's just straight nicotine. There's, it's, it's not tobacco, nothing like that. It's, there's actually zero harm for cancer with this. It's just straight nicotine. Um, nicotine is, is, is just as dangerous as, or, or healthy as your, your cup of coffee each day. Like it's, it's not bad for you, you know? It's one of those things with moderation, you're fine. But yeah, it's straight up nicotine. There's no tobacco, no carcinogens, nothing like that. It's just, uh, and, and also for the ladies, I don't want you to think that I chew tobacco because I don't. I just do this thing. That It's just, they're little nicotine pouches that you toss in there. Um, it's nothing like chewing tobacco, not even close. And I've maintained quitting smoking, you guys, since New Year's. I'm so proud of myself. I promised you guys I was gonna quit, and I did, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. All right, so we are heading into the Big Bear City area. And yeah, we're just going to do a little drive down to this side of town and go down 38 a little bit um, and see what we got going on out there. See what we got going on out there. Always love this view right here. If I had an option on where I wanted to move up here, it would be one of those homes right there, right on that little prairie. One of those little houses on that prairie. <laughs> yes, I know, I'm not funny. I know. I fucking know. I fucking know, bro. I fucking know. I didn't say, oh, like, it sounded like I said the bad word, but I really didn't. I really did not say that. It just sounded like it. Sign says, stay away from us. Has love rules at the love of shine. Fuck a little shit. Fuck a little shit. Bring your jukebox money. Uh, I don't know why I'm thinking of the B-52s right now, but you know what? That, those were good times, though. Back in the B-52 days. Oh, man. Everything was... I, I had zero worries in the world. I think I had just maybe started smoking the ganja. And that, that, and, and that was it, though. I was so young. No, actually, that, that was way before I, I was doing anything like that. But yeah, I'm just telling you guys, man, music, life just seems so just chill back then. <clears throat> I mean, sure, I don't know what I would do without social social media stuff. Well, actually, that's not true because I don't go on Instagram or Facebook. I mean, the only reason I go on Facebook is, is to post these videos. But uh, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what the hell I was trying to say. 
so I forgot. Maybe I was smoking since that young, I don't know. Now the real struggles for me um, really began in my early 20s, late teens. No, or yeah, early 20s. That's when I started to have real, real problems with alcohol. And the crazy thing is, you guys, is I hated alcohol for so many years. It just wasn't my thing. I, I like to smoke, smoke herbs, that's it. And uh, then all of a sudden, like, dude, I became a raging alcoholic. Every night I was blacked out drunk. I wouldn't remember a damn thing. I'd wake up to text messages that say stuff like, bro, what the F did you do last night? Are you okay? Are they okay? And like, all I'm thinking is, what are you talking about, dude? I went to bed, like, I went to bed. Like, you got the wrong dude. And I didn't buy into any of this for the longest time, you guys. And I kept on getting messages like this, and I thought people were crazy. I'm like, dude, what is wrong with these people? Well, you know what, like, they aren't crazy. I was doing crazy stuff, blacked out, stuff that I would never even conceive doing. Like, uh, um, I was going and handling business that I would never have the balls to go handle. It was like, uh, I, I, it's, it's, yeah. I guess I stand up for myself a lot more when I'm blacked out. Um, and yeah, that's a, that's, that's a good thing, but two wrongs never make a right. And, uh, and, I, and I never try to justify that. I never try to justify bad behavior in any way uh, because there is zero justification. Two wrongs never make a right. You know, if you have a decent conscience, two wrongs will never make a right. And I'm the type of person whose conscience eats me alive. I cannot get away with anything. I used to always tell on myself to my mom. Always. I might lie at first, you know, like when I'm being interrogated right away. Like, did you throw all those rocks through, uh, through the Elliot's windows? And I'm like, no. And my friend and I, we were throwing rocks through this house's windows. And I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but maybe I thought he was gonna tell. So I told first and uh, yeah, he didn't say anything. But I'm, I'm really glad that we got in trouble for that because um, man, living with guilt is, is just not, not easy. So I don't live with any guilt. <coughs> I try to make amends and be honest with everybody as much as I can. Anyway, we're almost to Baldwin Lake area. Um, obviously, we're not we're not getting any uh, or any real snowflakes over here at the moment. But it's still look at that. It's just I love that beautiful gray look. guys we're on paradise street and this is this is one of the routes that takes you from north shore to south shore so like when you're on one side of the lake this is one of those roads that takes you to the other side of the lake yeah yeah the other side <laughs> all right hang tight all right that phone call took a little longer than anticipated but we're on highway 38 now ladies and gents and yeah, we're just gonna drive around, look at the snow falling a little bit. It's 1.31 in the p.m. 1.31 in the p.m. 1.31 in the p.m. In the You guys, I'm not gonna take any more calls until we are. Je finis, madame. Je finis. Je finis, madame. Je promets fidélité au drapeau des États-Unis d'Amérique et à la République qu'il présente. Une nation sous Dieu, indivisible, avec liberté et justice pour tous.
Yo no sé qué estoy diciendo. Este es francés. Yo no sé cómo hablar, pero ahora estoy hablando en francés. <risa> Muy bonito. Yo puedo hablar muchísimo uh, español, francés, uh, italiano, todo. Uh, porque yo soy muy inteligente. <laughs> Maybe not. Alright guys, so yeah, we're still getting some snow. It's 141. And we're on the road. On the road. On the road again. Feel I'm dying on the road again. Okay, all right, Ethan. And yes, I do need to clean the inside of this windshield. And I know I'm always saying I'll get to it. I really will. It's gonna happen. Okay, Highway 38, we're making a left. And we're gonna head back into the Big Bear area. It's 40 degrees. Once again, guys, there's no snow on the ground anywhere. It's all gone. But we are getting a little snow coming from the sky. And I have a feeling once we get back to my area over in Moon Ridge, it's going to be snowing heavier. It's going to be snowing more. Guys, it's April 27th, sons or daughters every father's day when i go to the mailbox i get a bit nervous but um we shall we shall see oh that was bad that was a bad joke I ain't got no quarrels with god 
Ain't got no time to grow Lord, not so Alright And then yeah guys Don't forget the best place to shop up here The best freaking vape store The best vape anything And they have so much more stuff Is uh, the Big Bear Smoke and Vape Shop And it's coming up here Right here on the right hand side It's basically like half of the building On the bottom floor Or more, or more than more than half of it right here the cross street is rose hill and the owner sahil is just a wonderful human being they deserve so much business and i try to send everybody that i possibly can their way they're just wonderful people um such a beautiful family guy like family man um yeah i love i love helping raise the tides for everybody i'm not an enabler by any means and i will never ever ever just just like give some like a um, you know, hand ups are what I'm all about. You know, if you're if, if you're you're putting effort into it, into whatever you're doing, and you need help uh, with like certain certain things to help you move forward, instead of just staying stagnant. Yeah, that's 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 always a good way to help folks. But just helping people when they ask for something and, and they don't do anything in return for it and just are just manipulating you and stuff like you're 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 not helping them you are not helping them you're only hurting them once again you want to you you want to let people feel that sense of accomplishment and success because it's so important to the human psyche to 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 feel those those feelings and so when you just hand people things without them working for it earning it putting in the effort sacrificing it's not going to mean anything not anything close to what it it usually would. A good example is back in in my real estate career um, for many many years. Um, I I'd, I'd go to all of these like like really nice weekend long functions and stuff. Like fly to a different state and, and they're held at like the nicest hotels and it's it was just just freaking awesome. Uh, and what the hell was my point though? Oh my gosh, seriously, I smoked myself it's so dumb. Um, what was my point about that? I know I don't even know what my point was. That's crazy. But I am finding the common denominator in that issue for myself. It's every time I'm talking to you guys and then like something catches my eye and then I'll focus on it for like a second. I, I like lose my train of thought. So forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. I have no idea what the hell I was trying to say there. But whatever it was, it was supposed to be impactful and good. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, just uh, you know, being there for people and giving them hands up is a, is a beautiful thing. Just never just give something for nothing. You're not teaching anybody anything, you know? Um, I mean, it's just, it's, just, it's just such a ass backwards type of a thing, you know? How are you ever supposed to, to grow in life if you don't accomplish things by yourself? If you don't get that, that sense of, of accomplishment, it's such an incredible feeling. It's such an incredible feeling. And that's why I think like giving everyone a trophy is such a bad thing because you know, like not, it's like way worse than not giving because that kid who's in last place, he still gets a, a trophy. But the worst part about it is that he knows deep inside he didn't deserve it. So that's probably gonna screw him up even more. Like, it's not right to do that to people, you guys. Like, like uh, I just I just don't understand the mentality. I just don't. But it's a mentality for power. They don't like us, guys. Our government doesn't like us. Like, I'm, I mean, come on. Like, wakey, wakey. Yeah, they don't like us at all. So just, guys, always do what you can. Set short and long-term goals. Like, for me... I had to set a lot of short-term goals that were achievable. And I mean very achievable. Just to start to feel, to begin to feel that sense of accomplishment. And it's really important. It may sound freaking stupid, but like, you know, like uh, like give yourself little tasks that you know you can 100% accomplish. That you can 100% accomplish, no problem. And do those things. And then start making it a little more difficult, a little more difficult. And just keep keep on doing that. Keep on doing that. Um, I assure you things will start to change for you inwardly and, uh, you know, anything I can do to, 
just help raise the emotional tide for everybody around me um, and share my experience, strength, and hope that has gotten me through life. Um, yeah, I, I have setbacks all the time. I have setbacks all the time, but one thing that you guys who have been watching me for a long time will know is that I'm very, very persistent with what I do and my efforts in life. Um, and when I'm down and struggling, persistent and really, really, really busting my ass to, you know, um, to come out of that state and uh, just, yeah, just staying on top of myself and loving myself enough to be able to, uh, uh, you, you know, hold myself accountable, keep myself honest and, uh, and not have to deal with, with where my mind takes me a lot. Um, we're all worth it. We are all worth it. There, there's, there's no one out there who's worthless or, um, or weak or, or this and that. Like guys, we're, we all have a really uh, crappy thing, which is, which, okay, life's, life's beautiful, but we're all in a, just a terrible struggle. We're all struggling. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't care who you are. We're all struggling. We're all human. It's just, you know, the, the big thing is that you have a bunch of people out there who don't want to put any effort into life. So they'll use the victim status to allow them to justify not doing anything in life and to sit on their butts and just point the finger at everybody else um, when everybody else is going through through stuff too. You're not unique. You're, you're nothing special. We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. It's just how we deal with it. And that's the important thing about having each other, you guys. Like, it's, it's so paramount. It's so paramount, you know? And guys, one thing that I'm really, really, really realizing later on in life is never, ever handpick your friends. Ever, never handpick your friends because it's always going to disappoint. They're, you know, they're probably going to be smooching your butt all the time, not being honest about things. You want to have people come into your life for your actions and how you behave and then uh, allow how you feel about yourself to project onto others so that they can start to feel like that about you. Because if you don't love yourself, care about yourself, who the hell's going to want to be around you? You know? So it's, it's, it's one of those things, but yeah, anyway, we're going to take a little back street into Moon Ridge to get to my house. But yeah, look at the snow, guys. What is up, man? What's up, man? What's up, man? All right. There's the Church of Scientology right there, or, or whatever it is. No, sorry. Uh, not Scientology. It's, uh, what is it? Um, what's, what's that other one that's like, uh. Oh, Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, Jehovah's Witness. Yeah, yeah. Jehovah is witnessing. That's cool. That family looks like they're having fun. Oh, it makes me sad. It makes me sad because I I'd like to, you know, be with my, my family like that, but... That ship has sailed. That ship has sailed. I got my new family though. So that's awesome. And then, as I said, I get to go see my dad on Thursday in Florida. So that's exciting. I'm just not excited about getting packed and stuff like that. And just all the responsibilities I need to, to get hunkered down before I go. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot. I got a couple employees who are going to be working for me while I'm gone. Well, employee friends. I don't know why I said employees. That's funny. Um, yeah, just, uh, friends helping me out. And, uh, I bought like all these like top of the line pet feeders and stuff that, uh, recirculate the water so I can be gone for the four and a half days and the cat's water is going to constantly be fresh because it's constantly moving and filtering in and out. So, and, uh, yeah, something else for food. I got some, some like animal cameras too for a little treat thing. So when I want to see my little buddy, when I'm in Florida, I can talk to him and see him and give him a treat at the same time. I'm so excited about that. Um, he's just such a little angel. But anyway, you guys, April 27th, 2021. Uh, yeah, we're getting some, <laughs> some nice snow here in Big Bear. And uh, yeah, always nice to be with you guys. Nice to talk to you guys. And I hope you guys have a rest, a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for all the love and support and uh yeah man this is so beautiful but guys don't forget i got one of the predictions right right all the snow's gone that that fell on the ground from last night and stuff so 
anyway peace out you guys i love you dearly and uh you guys are my heart and soul no question about that